This the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joey, and in the festive Thanksgiving spirit, if you're from America, I'm wearing a turkey hat, just because I feel like it. I like my random hats. I enjoy them. But guys, today, <clears throat> mm, today we're going to be looking at the machine gunners and snipers and whatnot, and I just want to do a ton of attacks with pretty much just straightforward just machine gunners and my buzzsaw, because I have a buzzsaw. But we're just going to do that today. I just want to have fun with that, because this unit is what I like to call OP, and they are extremely overpowered. Well, not overpowered, but they're very good at their job, and I have a lot of fun with them. And where are we going to attack? Ooh, new PvP. I love it. Okay, we're going to look at that later, next time. But we're going to be looking at Barcelona, just because it's here. It's a war, and we can attack it. So let's go ahead and fight on AZ. Can I borrow a machine gunner? Perfect. I'm going to borrow that from Legion. We're going to attack. We are good to go. All right, so Barcelona, no siesta for the weary. So I'm excited for this. It can be tough. But it can be fun at the same time because machine gunners, they have a very low health. They can't really shoot people that are like this far away. They just can't really do it. But if they got time, they got a straightaway, it's game over. They just can't handle that straightaway. The people are just too good. But it's, I'm actually really excited for this. Uh, what happens if I get close? Hmm. So, does it sound better? Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to stay a little bit closer today to this. Let me, ad let me adjust it then. Adjust a little bit. All right, I need like a lower sitting chair. That's what it is. All right, but uh, anywho, let's not worry about that right now. Okay, this is actually not a very good place for this. Okay, it's all good. We'll make do. Hmm. Okay, what I'm worried about here is the biohazards and because, well, patient zeros. And they're going to they're gonna come out and they could take out those machine gunners nearly instantly. So we're going to actually send these guys back. We're going to send two wonderful machine gunners back here to set up shop right there. And I'm hoping that they're going to be able to handle that pretty well. Over here, we're going to do something very similar. We're going to put two level 24 machine gunners over here. And as long as they have time to load up, I think we're going to be pretty much set. All right. Okay. This is the one that's going to be difficult because it's right by the spawn. Not very fun. Okay. So let's put the flag right there. Buzz, uh, buzz, uh. And we're going to throw in the dead shots too, because this is where they're going to be needed the most. Okay. So I think we're set. I'm feeling good. Machine gunners are set in place where I want them. They have a good straightaway look. So let's go ahead and start these waves. Send them away. And let's check out this first area right here. Because it looks like this is where the first wave is coming out. So they have seen them. They see them now. That's good. So they're loading up. Hopefully, as long as we take out that patient zero. Okay, we're good. We're golden. I think we should be able to handle this raid. No problem whatsoever. Because those machine gunners get have time to load up. They get warm. And then they pretty much just wipe out everything. As you can see, they take out everybody. Okay, over here, next wave. So pretty much when you're trying to use machine gunners, you want to focus on like one key thing is you want to either have a bulk kind of defense around them, sort of like firefighters or lumberjacks, things like that, because with that, it'll if they do get close, that way they'll be protected. But for me, the best place to use them is when you have large straightaways similar to this straightaway right here or, you know, anywhere where you have a large straightaway just because it gives them first time, first off, it gives them time to warm up because they have a, Eh, they have a couple seconds to kind of get warm and get going so it gives them time to warm up and plus it just gives them sight of every single person there's no corners and it just makes it easier on them so that's pretty much my fun fact for the machine gunners that's what i got all right here we go this is where it's going to be interesting right over here so i'm going to go ahead and stim everybody in the vicinity everyone that i can catch and hopefully the dead shot will be able to catch that biohazard let me go ahead and Snag it with the Molotov cocktail. Do the best I possibly can. Hopefully the dead shots will catch it. There we go. Perfect. Now we have a mortician right there. That's going to try to bring back the biohazard. They do. But then it gets taken out by the dead shot. It's perfect. Good stuff. All right. So machine gun is just going to take out those last couple drones. Going to flare them. Come on. Down he goes. We got 196 trophies. Plus our time bonus, which is 51. I'll take it. Okay, this hat is like kind of weird. I don't really like it. It's difficult to wear. Still got a tag on there. Wait. Ah. I think I'm wearing it backwards. Like, no lie. Turkey hat. Ta Yerky. Okay. 
go ahead and get another attack in, and we'll call it a day, because it's going to be a quick and easy raid. So, hmm, where to attack? Manila. Should we take on? Okay, we can't take on Mr. Dr. Zomowitz. Can't do that. Actually, wait, I'm going to make it so we can, because I want to have these machine gunners go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We're going to take out this level 6 shop shooter and throw in my fire chief just because. And that gets our team power more than enough. We're, we're pretty high up there right now. So, let's go ahead and grab Manila. That's New Orleans. Manila. Borrow Nixon's and fight. Manila. That's aftershock in that picture. Not Dr. Zombowitz, so it's a little awkward. It's Tad Ock. All right, so this is actually a really good example right here, which is the straightaways. Where is Dr. Zombowitz coming out? Right over there? Okay. Well, here. I'm just going to put one. Throw him back there. I'm going to put another one here, and I think we can actually get this with just two machine gunners. Like, I'm not even kidding. All right, let's start these waves. Speed them up, and we will watch. So right here, it's actually perfect because we have a perfect straightaway. They're going to all be kind of gathered into this one straightaway area right here. I've said straightaway a lot, haven't I? This one road right here, they're going to be focused on by these walls, and they're allowed to get through, but the machine gunner, once he gets warm, he's able to take out all these colossus, all these drones, and they're all pretty much just funneled in, and they are cut off. So, shock throw to Zombowitz. We are actually taking out this with two machine gunners, like I said. This is pretty good. This is what I like to see. So, let's go ahead and send Dr. Zombowitz. Flare. And as you can see, if we can get warmed up quick enough, let's go ahead and stem up. Yeah. Two machine gunners got the job done. That's what I like to see. So, with that being said, that's what I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next episode.